Hi, I'm gonna try this again. This is Karen from Scented Soaps by Karen. I forgot the most important um, ingredient in the house. I forgot the bleach. Um, so it's trying to be so careful with it. If you wanna make your own Clorox wipes, this is, it's really very simple. You can just go to a store, pick up a container, or if you have a container, that'd be easier so you don't have to go to the store, um, and try to see if you have anything with a sealed lid on it like that. I took paper towels, I cut them, you know, to this length so that it would fit inside, put it inside, that was all I had to do. So then what I do is I add three tablespoons of bleach, and I've got that in here already, and then you add one cup of water. So there's, and I have my water over here, hold on. Not like you're going anywhere. And then I add the rest. And then I mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it. And just about that's every recipe you can see. But what I would recommend um, adding, if you have it, vitamin E, a lot of it, tea tree oil, just because it helps with antibacterial issues. And it also helps your hands. If you're gonna be using these all the time, it'll help if you have little cuts on your hands and so on. So I'd add, I don't know, it's about six drops, that looks good. And then I have the grapefruit essential oils and I have uh, two tablespoons of these because it smells amazing. Then you pour all of that in there, give it a mix. And this is all you do. You just pour it over it. Now I don't know if you can see, just like that. Make sure the whole thing gets saturated. So I'm gonna leave this like this and in 15 minutes you can pull out the middle piece and then you can start pulling out the little pieces um, that you're gonna need for wiping down your counters or whatever. That's it, that's all you have to do. Um, while I have you here, if thank you for all of the uh, reviews on, I'm glad you all got your um, hand sanitizer. I want you to know that the hand sanitizer is 62% alcohol um, and the uh, SD alcohol 40 on the front of it is just simply what you have to put into a hand sanitizer in order for it to take the actual alcohol, the 62% alcohol, if that makes any sense to you. So I have the large ones and I don't post them because they go too quickly. So if you want the large, just send me a direct message and I will make sure I get that to you. Everything goes out, priority. I send it one day, you get it the next day. So the hand sanitizers are here and I have a, hundred, I have a lot of the um, smaller ones that are, that are um, available as well. If you're looking to know really what to do and if you don't have my soap, use whatever soap you have. It turns out that shea butter has antibacterial properties in it, which is amazing. Um, however, if you just wash your hands with any kind of soap whatsoever, just wash them. Say, as my grandchildren would say, say the ABCs, you know, what is the other thing, Steve? Count, you say the ABCs. Count to 20. Well, something like that, but I think there's happy something. Happy birthday. Else. Happy birthday, that's right, you sing happy birthday. Just wash your hands for that length of time. It's worth it. And make sure you put on your um, your uh, lotion. Make sure you keep your hands nice and um, you know clean and nice and soft so that you don't end up with any cuts or infections either. Anyway, I wanted to show you how to make this because I actually don't have any Clorox wipes and I typically don't use them, but I wanted to show you. So um, there you go. Um, that's my little tip for today. And I thank you so much for watching. Take care.